first day out of the water was a success. Slow, but a success nonetheless. But yet, all I can think about is getting our tuna, trying to see if we can even get lucky enough to witness a bait ball while we're at it. So we're up the next morning, and Cap's early morning report shows good winds, calm seas, so he gives us the green light to go for tuna. It's about time. It's time to go fishing. Water looks good. The weather's hot. We'll survive, we'll make it. I'm gonna go out here and catch something. The day are awesome. Um, very light winds, little current. It's warm, it's gonna be hot, but I think it's still nice. It makes it easier to fish this kind of fishing. The puppers get a lot more exposure, um, a lot more splash. The fish notice it more. So I think in this kind of weather, what we're doing is good. The conditions are amazing, and Cap has some spots where the tuna bite has been on. But when looking for tuna, you wanna try and target porpoise and birds. If you can find them together, you'll almost always find tuna underneath them. And if you're lucky enough, they could even be sitting on a giant bait pole. And when you know it, on our way to our first spot, we see birds. And then we spot the porpoise. Time to wet a line. Are you kidding me? There's no way I'll get a tuna this fast. Oh, hey, no dolphin. Oh, oh. came off. I threw it out there, and I was just digging around, and a nice fish came up and smoked it, but I didn't have my drag set, hard, set tight enough. Drag was too light. <laughs> like, one thing, when you're fishing like this, you gotta try to, every fish you hook up to, you gotta catch. Um, when you're using live bait, you can pull live bait. It's more consistent. If you get a bite doing this, man, you gotta make sure everything's right. The big thing here is to get in front of the tuna schools. You get in front of them. As much as you can, you make long casts, and you try to get the fish to come to you. I want this popper to work, but Cap says the tuna are hanging out in the deeper water columns. So let's change it up for some vertical jigging. Yep. There he is. <laughs> oh, finally. Switched up, went to a jig. There's a lot of fish here, man. A lot of birds, dolphins, a lot of fish. Hopefully, I get this one up. Finally, a tuna. Yellowfin tuna, probably about 30, 40 pounds. Not bad, first fish. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna catch some more. We work hard for this fish, though. Ready? Set, go. I've been throwing poppers this whole time. Um, Captain told me he's market fish about 50 feet. Um, dropped down 200. Got a bite at about 100. Kept bringing as fast as I could. Ended up hooking the fish at about 50 feet. Nice small fish. Try to get a big one this time right here. Cap was still reading fish down low, but after jigging for a while longer, we weren't having any luck. And the first mate spotted birds off in the distance, so we're back on the hunt for a bait ball. A lot of times the tuna will be in the front of the porpoise schools or the dolphin schools, so you kind of keep coming around in front of them, keep getting in front of them. The tuna stay right on the front edge of them. Right now they're not really coming up and not really popping that well, but you just keep going on the front edge, then the front edge, on the front edge. A lot of times you'll get a bite that way, or the tuna will all of a sudden come up when you get around a big ball of bait. And that's when you take advantage of it and catch them. But this water is so clear, it's awesome to even see the dolphins. I mean, the dolphins are 20 feet down, and you can see them real clear in the water. It's more than just catching fish. I mean, the scenery, the dolphins, and having a chance to catch these fish is what I worry about, what I try to do. I love it. We're seeing a couple of tuna here and there. They're not really staying up. So, I mean, so it's hard to target them. We're trying everything we can to get one, but for the most part, you see them pop up here, you get over nearby them, man, they go back down. So they're in these dolphins, they're just not consistently staying up where you can get a good shot at them. You know, it's still early, still grinding, still working. You just gotta keep chasing the bite. So we move, locate the birds, and it looks like they're not alone. I 
chasing birds and porpoises all day, it looks like it's finally happening. We get close and we see the bait. After all this time, I'm finally on top of a massive bait ball. And just like that, I'm hooked up. I've never seen anything like this. Tuna are everywhere, jumping, diving, biting. It's amazing. And finally, a tuna on a popper. This is awesome. But I'm not wasting any time. I want more fish. Feeding frenzy. I don't care if we lose every lure I have. We're gonna keep throwing them, keep catching them. This is why I'm here in Panama. <laughs> Look at him behind it, underneath it. <laughs> this is exactly what you see online. People talk about this, you really have to see it to believe it. And I'm here, this is my chance, raw and uncut. I've always been about having the perfect top water conditions for tuna, and here it is. Look at all of them. The bait's out here in the middle, and these fish are all on this bait. Come here, Steve, get the bait right here. The bait's right here. See the bait right here? The bait's over here, and these fish are all on this bait. <laughs> Look at all the fish. Here, Captain, here, here, here. Come here. You fight this fish. I want to catch another fish. At this point, it isn't about landing the fish. It's all about hooking them on these giant poppers. I want to see the strikes and keep on hooking up. We'll get pictures later. Right now, we got the, all these fish. Game on point. We just keep pulling them in, but there nothing goes to waste. We'll eat it. They can sell, trade, all that to the locals. They love it, so keep them coming. It's all about Panama, man. This is why you come down here. This is why I've been coming down here. Look, 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 look. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 come on. No, this is why you come to Panama, man. Crazy action. We got a bunch of blue runners up on the surface. And I mean, every cast is 100 pound yellowfin. After a lot of hookups, I get into one that's just peeling off bread. This one's mine. Now, this will go on until about three bait left. I mean, this yellowfin, these dolphins would eat all that bait. That bait got pushed to the surface for whatever reason. And once it gets to the surface, the dolphin and the yellowfin keep the bait up. It's isolated. Oh my God. I'll try it again. Never palm the spool. Never ever palm the spool. Get tired. See color? Oh, thank God. And that's the biggest one yet. I hate killing fish, but if I win, you're good as dead. I beat this fish. Let's take him home. I mean, this is why you're out here, why you come to Panama, this is why you fish. It's days like today, man. Perfect weather, no wind. We put our time in in the morning, didn't catch anything real big. And then in the afternoon, everything came together. 
perfect storm. We got all the fish we wanted. You know, we got four great tuna, all over 100 pounds. They won't go to waste. You know, people will eat them. Fish down here, you can always give it to somebody. Tonight, we'll eat the tuna, we'll eat the Dorado. We'll have ceviche, have all that. So it won't go to waste. But this is, to me, is the best fishing you can have close to home. You know, you're a two hour flight, three hour flight from Miami. And look what you can do in a day's work. I've fished all around the world, the South Pacific, Bermuda. I've chased tuna as far as you can. This Panama trip was the greatest trip ever. I'll never forget it. These are the memories that last a lifetime.